how did you know moving around? Was that a big hurdle? Did you think it was gonna be a big hurdle? No, nah, not at all. I feel good, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Were you able to do everything? Yeah, yeah, no restrictions at all. I was able to do everything. Um, feel happy about that. So, did, did you anticipate that? going in? Did you get the yeah. sense maybe they'd even pull you back a little bit because you know, it's a longer term thought process? I mean, it is a longer term thought process at the same time, but I mean, I always had the mentality I was going to come in and do all that I can. They didn't put any restrictions on me, so I'm going to keep on going. You have a physical kind of game. Um, how do you think that will uh, you know, show itself you know, throughout camp, throughout preseason, when you get to the first game of the season? Yeah, you know, football is a physical game. It's a game of physicality. And if you don't have that, I mean, I think you're losing part of the game. So I try to use that to my best of my abilities and, and use my attributes as much as I can. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use it in any way I possibly can. The coach talked about when uh, on draft night, how you fight for extra yardage, how mm -hmm. you fight for going forward and not going out of bounds. Uh, where does that come from? And how do you think that's going to help you as well? I think it's just personal will um, and will for the team at the end of the day. You know, um, I came here to try to get W's. Um, and if it means me having to fight off two, three dudes to get the extra f five yards, I'm going to do it, you know? So, yeah. Are you a vocal guy on the field? Does the physicality come with a little soundtrack? Or? Um, you know, at the same time, I got to earn my respect. I'm not going to be yapping at vets and things like that. Um, but no, I, I would say I, I try to lead by action and, and just do what I can, do my part. Um, at the same time, uplift others. Yeah. Is something special you want to get out of these first two days yourself personally? Yeah, just the mental part of the game, you know, um, learning all the plays, um, you know, getting right with, with all the phrasing and everything like that. And um, I'm working on that right now, and that's what I'm trying to do. Have you heard from or built any kind of relationship with Kyle Pitts yet, a guy who was kind of in a slow position last year to what you are this year? Yeah, um, I've been talking to him a little bit. He's been asking me when I touch down. So we've been talking, and uh, I'm excited to meet him for the first time. What's it? Oh, it's been great. You know, I'm actually one of his uh, dorm mates right now um, in the dorm, and we've just been going over plays, chopping it up. And uh, I mean, honestly, he's like me in a sense. You know, uh, we are on the same mission, and I'm happy we came in together. What, what have you, I guess, you guys realized that you have connections in some ways, or like what's, what have those first couple of days been like, like you said, chopping it up? I don't think we have a choice but to connect, you know? <laughs> um, so, and it's, it's just he's a better guy, you know. He's he's a guy I want to be around. And he's a guy that all of us want to be around, you know. He pulled us over right now and was like, "We messed up a lot today." Um, and that's just part of being a rookie and, and day one. But he brought us over there and was like, "Hey, we got to get this shit together." Excuse my language, but um, so he got, we got it together, and that's just the leader he is. So I'm following his footsteps. I'm guessing that the grooming assignment wasn't coincidence. Maybe. Probably. I mean, you gotta ask coach <laughs> for that. So, how would you describe terminology? You know, terminology, terminology is different throughout different you know, teams in the NFL. How would you describe that coming from college and then you know trying to learn the plays and all the terminology? It's definitely different. I mean, a lot of us came from different backgrounds. A lot of us came from no huddle. I came from no huddle. Um, so a lot of things are different, but at the same time, I mean, this is what rookie minicamp is for, so you can kind of get a grasp before you're thrown into the fire. Jay, what's kind of been the coolest moment for you so far? I mean, you mentioned just being able to be back out on the field, but I mean, I, I guess, what has it all kind of been like to be out with these guys and rookie minicamp and I guess getting the new day, first, first day feels that good? Shoot, to touch some grass. Uh, like literally at the end of the day I'm out here playing the thing that I love um, which is football and to do it with these guys and building up a program or not a program but a club I think it's, a, it's really special and I'm happy to be a part of it. You mentioned this is kind of the only organization you wanted to be in after you got picked. How has that translated to actually getting here? I stand by what I say you know. Um, it's, it's beautiful out here. You can check the weather. I mean, it's a little humid compared to California. Um, but no, it's amazing. It's all that I, I, I could ever ask for, you know, in a location. Random question, maybe, but when you see that your first road game is going to be in LA, do you, like, do you start being like, really? Like, do you start thinking about that at all? Uh, my mom told me a little bit. She was like, your second game is going to be in LA. You know, a lot of families going to come out, but. I mean, why not start a home game off of the bang, or away game off of the bang, you know? A uh, home game for me, but uh, no, nah, definitely. I think it's going to be really cool, really surreal. I haven't even been to the SoFi Stadium, so it's going to be a first appearance, and I think it's going to be a cool one. What, what have the last two weeks been like for you since we talked to you last? Like, in terms of people come, like, have you noticed changes for you in terms of how people have been acting or I mean, reaching out? or? Maybe outside noise, but I try to stick to myself at the end of the day. I can only control what I can control. Um, and I don't think I switched. So that's all that matters to me. In a way, all you rookies are kind of in this together, but um, there's only one first round pick. Do you, are you comfortable with the expectations that accompany being the number eight overall pick? 
Nah, I mean, all that all that stuff is out the window at, at this point. Um, they picked me in the first round, and I'm glad they did. But when you come here, all it's thrown out the window, and you got to start at square one again, and that's my mindset. How happy were you to get the business part of it taken care of before yesterday? Oh, amazing. You know, uh, my life just changed, mm -hmm. um, and I couldn't be more thankful for it. When they drafted Desmond, did you start? Did you go start looking at any film, or did you just wait until you got here to get any impression of him? You know, for our draft, um, we were actually working for the same with the same people. You know, okay. um, so uh, I didn't get to throw with him because of my ankle, and I was still rehabbing and things like that. Um, but we were going through the same people and, and kind of doing the same training, so we have a connection there in that sense. Um, but when he got drafted, I hit up uh, Jordan Palmer, and I was like, "Yeah, we got our guy." So I was excited about that. You talked about how. Y'all connected because you saw the same vision and the same mission. What, yeah. what is that for y'all? Super Bowl, that's the last thing you can get to, you know? Um, Super Bowl, Yellow Jackets, I mean, you can name all the crazy things you want to name, but at the end of the day, this is what we're trying to build, and that's the end goal, I think, for any team in the NFL, and we want to do it, so that's that's the end goal. I think it's important to you, to, the whole building a piece of program, but like building a team, being a part of a new generation, I mean, how much do you kind of like love that part of it, being a part of maybe a new generation, a new era of this team? I love all of it. I mean, it's up to us to change it, you know? Um, I mean, it's up to all the guys to change it as well, but we're, we're like the new the new juice in, in the area, you know, uh, that new energy that's going to come here, and uh, and we got to stand by it. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Right. That was the first day. It was good. It was fun. Back to playing football is it's always a blast. What's been the move to Atlanta like coming from Montana? It's a little more humid and a little <laughs> less snow. So it snowed a couple days before I got down here. Ooh. So that's a nice, nice change up, I guess. Like last week? Yeah, like Tuesday. Just wait till you get to August here. I know. Yeah, yeah we got a nice lucky day today. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know it's super early, but like, what's this tra transition wise? What has this like been like for you? Because you did not play it. The level necessarily that Justin Chapel did, or Drake London did in terms of your college opponent. Yeah, I mean, I think it's you do it the best you can with where you are. You know, I have great, great coaches around me. I have a tremendous opportunity here to, you know, continue to refine and hone my skills and my game. Um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to the opportunity to continue to improve. When we, after your draft, we were talking about your hometown of Montana. What was the next couple of days like in your hometown after you got there? I had a lot of text messages and calls from friends and family and just, you know, people I didn't even know, but they're from, you know, my hometown of a couple thousand. So um, it's kind of a small community and everybody roots for each other. Was there like a parade or anything? <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. Nope. Uh, what excites you most about the role that you're going to be playing on this defense and uh, linebacker core? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's awesome playing inside linebacker. You have such a direct impact on the game. Um, to play for Coach Bush and Coach Pease is, it's it's awesome. I mean, to just sit in the the rooms with them and they've have so much experience coaching. You know, they've been everywhere, done, seen everything. Um, it's it's awesome. And are you looking forward to having a more defined role and just kind of sticking with one thing? Yeah, I think so. I'll I'll do whatever. You know, I love playing football, like I said, and I'll do whatever the team asks me. Well, what makes it real for you? Is it the plane flight? Is it the ride up? Is it coming through the gate? Is it the locker room? Or yeah, I, th I think it was, I think it was coming through like the gate, and then you know walking in the building. You're like sitting in the hotel the night before, and yeah, like this is. I'm in Georgia. I'm in Atlanta. Like I'm, I'm ready. But until you're actually in the building, it was, I guess, a little bit surreal. It's only a short amount of time that you guys are out here over the next couple of days. What are you kind of hoping to, to showcase over this time? Yeah, just learn learn the calls that we have in. You know, get confident with those. Just communicate well. Um, show them that you know I'm going to work hard and, and be ready to do whatever. You talked about Coach Bush a couple of minutes ago. What's been your early impression of him? I mean, he's he's awesome. He's, you know, a lot of fun in meeting rooms, but just knows so much about football, has so much knowledge and information that, you know, I'm excited to, to continue to listen to him and absorb it and learn from him. Um, yeah, I mean, and then the other linebackers as well, just, you know, kind of pick pieces from everybody. What's it like kind of being around these other guys, these other rookies, all kind of trying to figure it out, this first day kind of situation? Yeah, I mean, it's it's been good. Nobody knows what doors are lead to where in the <laughs> building. 
but you know we're all all figuring it out together and i'm sure we'll we'll figure it out by the end of the weekend Anything? what's the most lost you've gotten the most what lost you've gotten like going to a different room well i i went to trying to get to uh i don't even know like the breakfast room and i went in the locker room and then came back out through the training room and just like we did a full circle <laughs> so anything kind of surprise you about day one out here or it's just playing football once you give it up, once you get out there yeah not not too much i mean it was it was fun just kind of playing the few calls that we have trying to you know remember everything and do everything right what do you oh, think the you advantages describe? of playing on both sides of the ball in your career uh will help you you know get through camp and when the season gets started yeah i think i think once you learn the initial defense and you feel comfortable with with it um just the spatial awareness you know, kind of understanding how quarterbacks think about the game and running backs. I do think it's helped me. Um, but, yeah, right now you're kind of drinking out of a fire hose trying to learn learn the defense. Troy, how would you describe your demeanor on the field, your playing demeanor? Yeah, I think, I mean, you guys see right now I'm fairly, you know, relaxed. And right. then on the on the field it's, it's go time, it's game time. I'm super competitive. I hate to lose, really hate it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm – and do whatever it takes to, to win. Lots of guys in this draft class have mentioned that same kind of thing. I mean, you know, borderline mean on the field. Would you, would you think that's fair? Yeah, I mean, within the rules for right. sure. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's assumed. Okay. Yeah. What do you think your athleticism brings? You have the fastest time of the combine for a linebacker. I believe the third fastest time all time. What do you think that athleticism will do for you when things get ratcheted up? I think, I mean, speed helps. I mean, the game is just so fast these days to be able to run with, you know, extremely athletic tight ends and receivers and backs. Um, you need to have short area quickness and, and long speed as well. So, I mean, hopefully my, my athletic skill set can, can help me with that. Have you surprised any of your teammates in this short period of time with your speed so far? I mean, I imagine they don't think cattle farmer from Montana can, can get down the road. Yeah, I, I haven't had anybody mention it, so we'll Nobody's see. Nobody's tested you yet? No. Nope. <laughs> yeah, we've carpooled. Wait, for real? Yes, sir. <laughs> wow. I was just joking around. Like, yeah, we did. Really? Like, I live like 55 minutes from here. Yeah. So. Like, what, what was that like for you? Because we hadn't talked to you since then. We had obviously talked to you. What was it like for you when you see him get drafted also? Uh, it was like, I was kind of surprised. Uh, I was not expecting that, you know, it's just me and my cousin been on the same team, but uh, it's a blessing though. I'm very excited for him. He's excited for me, so it's big. What was that ride up here like? Uh, it was pretty smooth. Uh, I was asleep the whole ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there they go. What did you think about the first day out here and uh, kind of get acclimated to NFL like? Uh, it felt great. Uh, a lot of people out here, you know, just trying to make a name for themselves. Uh, I felt like I did a great job, you know, just running around, uh, learning the plays. It's kind of like the same kind of scheme, just different uh, terminology. Yeah, D'Angelo talked to Coach Smith earlier this week. He said schools, uh, you know, said you were too small, but he had to talk you in the west of Kentucky. Um, you know, what was that like, and uh, are you happy how it turned out for you? Yeah, I would say uh, Coach Smith, he definitely played like a big role in me going to West Kentucky. Uh, you know, at first, people was trying to say, they were trying to criticize me. I wasn't big enough, I wasn't strong enough. So that's probably why it's put, it put a big chip on my shoulder. And uh, it really just inspired me just to go hard every day. And then the whole Cedar Grove community, have they been receptive to all you guys getting drafted here? Most definitely. Uh, everyone's excited. I mean, you know, uh, we're doing it for the community. <laughs> Angela, how would you describe your playing style? My playing style? Yeah. Uh, fast, physical, uh, very versatile, and uh, just one of a kind. Several of the guys in this draft class, Drake London, maybe Fitzpatrick, kind of have a reputation for being a jerk inside the white lines. Do you think you have the same reputation? Do you play with that style of? Uh, not really. Uh, I would say I'm cordial. Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's I, very cordial here, but I'm talking about in game. Oh, in game? Uh, not really. I'm a good uh, competitor. You know, I try to leave all the trash talking and just playing. Yeah. Yep. It's it's great. Great. You see you, people come out to see you. What from the guy from Cedar Grove still remains, and what would be different if people come out to watch you play? Uh, can you repeat that? People, from people who know you, remember you from high school, what still remains from that guy from Cedar Grove, mm -hmm. what's different? I probably would say, uh, you know, I still got the same work ethic, uh, still got the same good heart. Uh, but what's different, I probably would say just my size. That's my size, you know, add like 20 more pounds. I feel great. What was your size coming out of Cedar Grove when people were telling you you were too small? Yeah, uh, I agree with him. I was pretty small. I was like 195. I was a little guy.
What do you hope uh, to accomplish once uh, rookie camp is over? Uh, basically, like just make a name for myself. Um, hopefully, you know, I can uh, earn a spot on the team. You know, just do whatever I can for the team, win the Super Bowl. 195 playing linebacker? Like, what What happened the first day of practice? The first day of practice? Yeah, did you just get thrown around everywhere? Or? I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say thrown around, but uh, I kind of play like with a chip on my shoulder, like I said. And uh, I know I had a lot to prove. So, like, just having that heart, you know, just going out there, having that dog mentality. Describe your pass rushing style and the moves you've been working on, I understand. Okay, so I like to watch a lot of Von Miller, uh, Leonard Floyd. So, you know, cross chop, uh, speed chop, and just working inside. Anything else? All right, thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Yeah. So, you guys actually carpool up here? No, we can't separate. Yeah. I have. <laughs> that was a different story than we just got. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How was your first day? It was great, and you know, just to be out here and just be able to have that opportunity to be able to come out here in the NFL uniform, it was a great experience today. What were the emotions first day on the NFL practice? I'll say it was it was it was sad, but happy at the same time. Like yesterday, when I tried on my helmet, it really like hit me like, wow, I'm in the NFL. Like today, I just had to come out here. Like, as a regular me with high energy, just coming out here for just playing ball, just keeping the energy positive, keeping the guys around me positive energy. You said it was sad first. That was the first word you used. What was sad about it? It's just like, like where I come from, I always been counted out. Like from high school all the way to college, I always been an underrated guy. Like even in college, I had to wait. I had to sit sit behind two or three guys for like two or three years. So just coming out here, just knowing I got an opportunity was a blessing for me. Do you think that's kind of helped you as a player? Yes, sir. I just, just like I just, I just take. I don't, I don't never let nothing like bother me, aggravate me. I just take it all out on the field, like with my aggression. How would you describe your playing style um, on the field? My playing style. I play. I'm a mauler. I'm nasty. Like I'm trying to finish you every play, no matter if it's a, p a run or a pass. That a lot of the guys in this draft class seem to share that. I know you haven't gotten. You probably had 36 hours to get to know them, but do you? Do you think y'all play have similar styles? Yes, sir. I, I feel like I feel like everybody around me got that same aggression. Everybody around me got, got that got that winning mentality. So just coming in with the, with the job class we got, I feel like we'll be able to help the team move in a positive way. Hey, Justin, Coach, uh, I talked to Coach Smith uh, earlier this week. He said you're gonna be fine because you work hard and go stick and stay. Uh, what are some of the traits that you know he's talking about? Well, I got to get Coach, El, Coach Smith all the credit. Like, coming out of high school, he was the guy who told me, like, you know, when, the, when the ball down the field, cover down the field, mm -hmm. if I get a chance to finish somebody, finish him. Like, just that, just always having that nasty that nasty attitude on the field. Like, he he taught me that all four years of high school, and it, and it just carried me all the way to this day. And how about the Cedar Grove community? Three players in the uh, drafted, most in uh, any high school this year. What, what's that been like to come from the, that program? It's special just knowing like the school that I come from, because I come from a 3A school, yeah. only like a thousand students in there. So just coming from like that school and like the community, the community was so proud, like just being able to get that love. Like I got, I just got to go back and just show, share that love and share this, share this opportunity with them. Thank you. D'Angelo was saying you guys carpool up here. No, we ain't carpool, <laughs> but if he needed a ride, I got him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he was lying. He said he slept the whole way. He slept, yeah, he slept the whole way, but we ain't carpool. Okay. So how did you guys get up here? Did you, so did you get up here several of them? Yeah, I, I got up here. Uh, the Falcons actually had me a driver because I had a rental car. I had to turn it back in. So they had somebody come get me. Okay. And it wasn't D'Angelo? No, it wasn't D'Angelo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember before Georgia had its practice facility indoors. Uh, did you, were you ever part of a team that bust here for a practice on a rainy day? Uh, no, sir. I was, okay. a, I was a class that came in with the new facility. Okay. All right. Wow. It's been that long. <laughs> Else? All right. Thanks, Thanks Justin. Justin. Thank you. Nice to meet you.